Hey everybody, Dan Schinder here at the Kickboard booth on DrumTalkTV.com at the NAMM Show 2015 with Johnny Rabb of Collective Soul. How are you? Doing great. How are you doing? Doing great. It's nice to meet you finally. You too. You too, absolutely. Love your music, first of all. No, thanks so much. Yeah, it's having uh, a fun time. You've got some stuff coming up, right? Yeah, we got a new re uh, record coming out that's called See What You Started by Continuing and a whole summer tour and we're continuing to tour and Kickboard is on the live kit and in the studio, so it's great. Before we get into a, a quick chat about Kickboard, um, where are you going on tour? Is it just U.S.? Are you touring Europe, Latin America? Probably uh, mainly U.S. and then also Canada. And and we'll probably do, we're playing July 4th in Hawaii. And uh, they've been really hitting it hard. So this is the first bigger tour in the last two years, so we'll be hitting it pretty good. That's awesome. What can people expect from the new album? that are familiar with your previous work that might surprise them or be different? Or, or is it simply that you've really encapsulated what is major sound your sound? Is there any hints you can give? Well, I would say that it goes back to Collective Souls uh, rock and you know roots of that and guitar riffs, driven music, great vocals by Ed Roland, uh, the leader of the band, and groove rock i mean it's like really really catchy stuff and Great. it's a fun album cool. you seem like you're i see a little sparkle like you're really happy with the new work i'm very excited about yeah. it yeah that's awesome it's yeah. great to love what you do yeah. cool great. let's talk a little bit about kickboard you're using the bass drums on tour what size bass drum do you use on tour i'm using a 22 inch bass drum by 16. Okay. yeah what has it done for your sound it just fattens it up as far as the attack and the kick and when the mic from the front of house engineer is Got it in the in the port. It just broadens that sound, but not just being big, fat, and boomy, but punchy and, and low end too. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Um, and you use it in the studio as well. Yes, and in fact, I do a lot of electronica music, and I'm using the kick port in a little small 14-inch bass drum, and it just makes it sound bigger than it actually is. And that's that's the first time I met guys was was doing that. I was like, I need a fatter kick. Heard it across at a PAS show, and I was like. I gotta check that out. It works right there, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Great. Check out what Johnny's doing with Collective Soul right here on the website on the screen. You can stay up to date with when he's touring, where he's touring. Get out and see him. I definitely have to see you if you come through Vegas. Cool. Oh, great. We'll get together then for sure. And we'll do if you have time when you come out. We'll do a full-length interview about your career and everything. All right. Amazing. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thanks everybody for watching on DrumTalkTV.com.